I actually took two good gap years and I took my time to just go around and traveling around. I did an exchange program to Germany and then with Harold Ward, I did another exchange program to Canada for another year. So it feels great to finally graduate and then I'm ready to enter the workforce. I did the exchange program to Waterloo in Canada. So I basically stayed there for a year and did my third year course and it was great that I can transfer my credit um, from the university. That means that I don't need to lose the time and I still can study there. And then I have the opportunity to study at two different universities, which is great. And when I did an exchange program in Canada, like my lecturer name was mentioned in the class, which is amazing. And the lecturer taught me in second year, you wouldn't thought that such like a good lecturer will have taught you in second year. The lecturers are all like, um, how do I say, very experienced with the industry. And the things they study is like related to the, um, to the current industry, like practice and stuff. There are a lot of clubs around and you just need to take the initiative and just approach them when you are a member of the club. I came from Malaysia, so um, when I joined the club, I get the opportunity to, to travel at the same time when I go and play the games for the university. So uh, I was in Aberdeen, Nottingham, a few places. And um, in fourth year, when I came back from Canada, I joined the Actuarial Society Club from the university. And then um, I was the current affair director, so they set up this new committee and we, you know, it was the first time we published the current affair newsletter. It, we call it SASI, SAS Information Student Actuarial Society Information, and it was a great fun.